Hi, I'm Adam Sussman, Director of Research at Tab Group. I'm joined by Larry Tab, CEO and founder of Tab Group. And today we're going to talk about Goldman, CDOs, and the political debate uh, raging around this issue. Larry, um, you know, the civil lawsuit that the SEC has brought against Goldman uh, in terms of whether they uh, properly disclosed, uh, you know, information to uh, to the German bank about uh, Paulson uh, being on the other side of this synthetic uh, CDO. You know, wh what's your take on whether this was a politically motivated uh, charge, or whether uh, you know they're really just out there looking out for uh, that poor German bank? I, I I think this whole thing is politically charged. I think that that. Um, you know, if you think about it, you know, there are two big issues. You know, did Paulson pick the collateral for the CDO? And if that's the issue that they've been challenging, maybe there's an issue there. You know, certainly you shouldn't be, you know, creating s products that are intent to blow up. Uh, but that said, it, whatever products they would have picked during that time would have blown up anyway. So whether it blew up, at, you know, in a month, you know, I think they said it blew up in less than a month or, you know, but, but all the other ones blew up in a month and a half. So. You know, I, I think we're you know picking at it. You know, nits here. Um, right. It blew up, and and everybody got hosed. So, or or the the issue is, you know, uh, you know, should we be disclosing who's on the other side of a transaction? And that has a lot wider implications. If all of a sudden the SEC says n you need to start, you know, letting people know about who's on the other side of the transaction, and if that's the case, the SEC knows that they they don't want to be in that boat of forcing brokers. Intermediaries to disclose those on the other side of a trade. Um, so, and I think that's actually the real issue. So, you know, so to that extent, I think the whole issue is, you know, launch this thing out in the public to change the, you know, political uh, calculus around um, uh, around the bank bills. Right. And so, you know, what we've had was, you know, if you go back two weeks ago, or even a week and a half ago, or even you know, last week. Um, you know, it seemed like you know, the Republican senators were lined up against the banking bill, the Democrats were for the banking bill, um, and now all of a sudden, you know, the support on the Republican side is waning mostly because nobody wants to be on the side of, of Goldman, who is now this fraudulent, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, entity right. that, that created this trumped up CDO, which is probably not even true. So, um, you know, it just basically changed the whole political. But calculus. you know what? What I find interesting about this this charge that they created a product to blow up is, you know, let, let's look at uh, at IPOs, right? I mean, IPOs fail all the time. You know, they, you know, Vonage, Blackstone. I mean, all of these companies they they IPO at a high price and they fell. So, you know, maybe the SEC should go around and investigate all the investment <laughs> banks that have ever created a. You know that ever underwrote a product that didn't succeed. I mean, it just seems absurd that just because you know this investor was on the other side of a losing trade, um, you know that uh, that there's a problem. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly right. I think you know if you look at every single transaction, um, an investment bank is in the middle, but there's there's someone selling and there's someone buying. You know, even if you look at Google, um, a fantastically successful IPO, you know. Google sold its shares. It sold a stake in, in its entity. It right. basically felt that look, you know, I, I you know I want to be I want to be short Google stock, and and I want to in effect sell it to sell it to investors. So you know, if you thought about it, you know, Google was on the wrong side of that trade. If it would have been able to keep all its stock, you know, it would have you know it would have basically continued to grow. Right. Um. So so this whole idea, I agree with you completely that that you know. Um, yeah, to me, it's not about the intentionality of whether they created the product and intended it to fail or not. It, right? It's whether they, you know, Misled. followed whatever rules they were supposed to follow in in the course of of any transaction. And the other issue is that, uh, to a certain extent, that they weren't selling this product to you and me, and they weren't selling it to, um, you know, naive mom and pop investors. You know, we're looking at, you know. Uh, that these guys were selling it to very sophisticated, or what was supposed to be very sophisticated, um, investment uh, investors and inve uh, professional investors. Yeah, I mean, wh while the SEC is out there, you know, protecting this poor German bank, you know, what are they doing to prevent the next Madoff, right? All right, absolutely. All right, well, with that, uh, I just want to thank Larry for for joining us, uh, and myself, Adam Sussman, and we'll see you next time.